So I want to show you real quickly how to create a flowchart with Microsoft Word. Now this is how you would start off in Microsoft Word. What we're going to do is go to Insert, and we're going to look at our Shapes. If you click on Shapes, you're going to get a drop-down menu, and they're grouped into separate areas. If you'll notice, all the way down here is your flowchart. And your flowchart has a lot of different shapes for flowcharts. Some of them are your basic technical shapes, some of them are specific ones, some of them are a little bit extras that are not always used, for example, external files, or in this case they specify as documents, or even a multi-document. So we're not going to look at those, we're just going to look at our basic examples. First thing we're going to look at is create a terminal. And we have a Terminator object. Now you'll notice that it's going to be colored, it's going to have different shapes. You can use this or you can go under your format tab and choose a different shape. I'm going to type in start and just resize it real quick. Insert shapes. Now I'm going to go in and get an input. In this case, Microsoft is calling it data. That's what they use for input output. I'm going to type in here in, because I'm going to get data in. Then I'm going to choose my first grid. I type in in, because I'm going to get an input. I'm going to specify a height. You'll notice that things may not always fit. If you click in your box, you can always resize them. I'm going to once again do this again. I'm going to get another input. I can take my shapes. Now you notice that I've got three shapes, but what I don't have right now is any flow lines. That's because I can come up to my lines. I can select them. I can copy and paste them if I need to. Just make it easy like that. So those aren't found under flow charts. Those are just process normally. Now you choose a process. Area is going to equal my length times my height. Specify that I'm going to push out now my area that I just calculated. And then I'm going to finally need a terminal. Now, there's a few things you might notice. For example, they're not exactly all lined up. How can I fix that? They're also, I started to change shape, size, and color. Really easy to fix. Okay, so if I want to make these all the same, a couple easy way to do that is I'm going to select my flow box. Notice it comes up with my format tab, and I can select the style I want. I can kind of hover over, see what they are. I can also come over here like this. Now, the problem with that is that I have to go and do each one. So, what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to select each of my boxes. Now, you want to make sure you click on the edge and get the actual box. And then, go here and select them. And notice everyone that's selected has changed. So, now I'm going to have to go back and get the ones I might have missed. Now I'm going to come back and get the flow lines. These have to be done separate from the boxes because they're handled differently. That's okay. We're fixed. Now if I want to line things up, by selecting all of them, like this, I can choose a line. And I can say a line center. And this is going to be the center of the objects. This is going to make it so they're lined up a little bit nicer looking. So that's just a real quick way to create my flowchart inside Microsoft Word. You can see how I label things, how I put stuff inside my boxes. I can resize boxes if necessary, and I have a nice simple flow chart. Now, as I did mention, sometimes Microsoft has a slightly different name than what you might have realized, such as they use Terminator instead of Terminal, uh, and they use data instead of an input-output, but it all works the same way. That's not going to matter. The idea is to create that visual representation of your algorithm.